So oh. in the last two days, so I just got my result uh, negative. I think I get I got oh. the isolation around one week. Oh, no. Last week. Alhamdulillah, no, 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 you are, you are negative. You are negative. Huh? Okay, Alhamdulillah. Uh, so today I got the even I had. Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah. Even I was also undergoing this pause too, na? Uh, about one one month ago. Now I have also got negative, Alhamdulillah. 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 <coughs> it, I think it's so traffic in, in your way to your university. It is a gem? No problem. It will be. No, no, five minutes only, but no, we can start because uh, what time is more important. If your students have come, okay. at least you can start, then we can reach there till five minutes will reach, then okay, we can start uh, formally. But if okay. you, uh, we, so that we can start what is the format, how to start, so then we can just, Okay, this is... be the way of uh, format today, how we will discuss the subject and how the students will attend and what will be the formalities. So you can do that. Because yes. I don't want to waste because... your time. It's okay. It's okay, bro. Because okay. I think it's uh, the signal is not really good. So... Okay, no we will problem. wait you until you arrive in your university. Okay, I am just I am just reaching. I am reaching yes. Okay, okay. So my brother and sister, Nana, Yuni, Natania. Okay. What is the other student? Dinda. How are you today? Are Natania? How are you today? I am fine, sir. Alhamdulillah, okay. Oh, you are also in your way to to your home or where are you, Natania? <laughs> in pet care, sir. <laughs> I'm okay. Okay. What is the other student? It's still 12 person. We are still waiting for five mm. or six person more. Uh, wait, one moment. Okay, Prof, I think yeah, it's good better even you. Okay, I will start, yeah, but you can, I don't know. You can start. Still... This will like, yeah. Okay, okay. We will start, my yeah, brother and it's sister. Okay. It's okay, no? And... Okay. No, it still have some trouble in your signal, Prof. It's not very really clear. Uh, no, it's okay. Yeah, it's not really clear. Okay, uh, sometimes it's okay, but okay now? but it's not really clear. Not yet, sir. So, not yet, okay. problem. No, no problem because uh, maybe because of some reason. Uh, but you know, I hope that it will improve. It will improve, inshallah. Okay, but it's inshallah. okay if you are waiting until you arrive in your unit. No, I, yeah, I, I have almost reached. Best I am entering into my uh, department, and maybe two minutes there is some jam. 
okay. maybe two three minutes or okay yeah. but okay. we can just uh, compensate that time later on we can give you those minutes later on okay so i just want to give some information to all of the students before we start our uh, okay. guest lecture today okay uh, bismillahirrahmanirrahim alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salamu ala rasulillah wa ba'd okay my brother and sister so to all of the student how are you today alhamdulillah sir okay. alhamdulillah okay so uh, i would like to say thank you very much for your uh, pray for me that i can teach you again for today because i just recovery for my positive covid for the last week so so as well what we have uh, talked in the last week that so today we will have some guest lecturer from professor hamidullah so he come from india so our topic today we will okay wait a moment okay our topic today we will study about the insurance yes bro so we will study about the difference between the islamic insurance or the sharia insurance and the conventional insurance right so just for the information also so today it will be our last meeting because uh, our next meeting it will be the examination okay so just prepare yourself for the next meeting Okay, Fatwa, Nathania, Nana, Burhan. Okay, sir. Our okay. Our next meeting it will be uh, the examination. So our meeting in the in the, our semester in this semester it will be uh, finished by the next weeks. Okay. So today we are still waiting for Professor Hamidullah until they he arrive in the university because. As we know, the signal is not really good, and when we uh, speaking about the condition, so this is, I think he's still in the traffic jam in his way to the university. So I think it is good when we are waiting until five or uh, seven minutes more to waiting the professor. I think he just arrived in the university, right? Okay. Okay, Professor Hamidullah just arrived to the university, so we will wait until the signal is good for delivery the public lecture today. Okay. Sir. Yeah, is there any question, Nana? Not can any? can can you explain again about the last meeting, about the insurance and then con conventional insurance and other? Because I okay. don't clearly. <laughs> okay, so our meeting today it will talk about the. Islamic insurance or Sharia insurance. Of course, they are different between the Islamic insurance and the conventional insurance. And it's different, it's in the concept, of course, yeah. Like the insurance of conventional insurance, there are some trouble in the akad, like there is riba, there is a goror, yeah. As we know, riba, goror, maisir, maisir is judi, right? Is prohibited in in Islam. So in Islam we have a Sharia insurance, but we have a different concept. We have a di different scheme between the Sharia and a conventional. So today, Prof Hamidullah he will uh, explain about this difference between the conventional insurance and also the uh, Sharia insurance. Okay. If you need more some explanation, I will give you some explanation for the next meeting, maybe for the tomorrow or after tomorrow, it's okay. Okay, maybe you can ask to Prof. Uh, Hamidullah about the 
about this concept between a Sharia and conventional. So just prepare your the question. Okay. So I think Prof. Uh, Hamidullah is ready to give some speech or some public lecture today. Are you ready, Prof? Is this clear now? Okay. Okay, mashallah. This is clear uh, now. Okay, thank you very much. Alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah. Uh, my dear uh, Zeni and uh, uh, the students uh, and the friends there at uh, uh, Muhammadiyah University, Yogyakarta, it is my pleasure to talk about uh, a very interesting topic that is pertaining to insurance in Islam. And inshallah, I will be explaining all the aspects of the insurance in its historical perspective, its uh, legal and illegal uh, forms, and how we can think about taqaful, taqaful, kifala. Right. So these are very interesting subjects, and inshallah, I'll be dealing with all of these, inshallah, one by one. So first of all, I am very thankful to uh, Muhammad University and brother, Dr. Dimas that he has invited me for this program. <clears throat> and secondly, it is my third lecture uh, to the students of your university. And maybe in future, I'll be giving more lectures, inshallah. Now inshallah. coming to insurance. Uh, several renowned scholars, uh, they do allow conventional insurance. For example, people like uh, Yusuf Karzad. Uh, Sayyid Sabik, Abdullah Kalkili, Muhammad Bakit Al Muthi, Abdul Wahab Khalaf, Muhammad Yusuf Musa, Abdul Rahman Isa, Mustafa Ahmad Zarqa, Muhammad Najatullah Sadiqi. These are the important scholars of Islamic uh, world and Islamic studies and Islamic economics. They don't allow any kind of insurance as has been conventional, as has been prevalent in modern days, they oppose this. In the 20th century, a well-known Muslim jurist, Muhammad Abduhu, you may know Muhammad Abduhu, very important reformer of uh, Egypt. You know, his student was Rashid Raza Misri. And your Muhammadiyah universities have got a lot of influence from Muhammad Abdu, I know that. So uh, there may be some difference of opinion, but you know, he is very famous. So it was Muhammad Abdu who, who issued two fatawa uh, between the years 1900 and 1901 AD, which legalized the practice of insurance. So it means that there have been two groups of people one group of people are denying altogether any validity of insurance. But there is a group of scholars who say that insurance is valid, like Muhammad Abduhu, who issued two fatawa from 1900 to 1901. The development of Islamic insurance practice uh, gradually started in the 20th century in various countries. <laughs> Several renowned scholars I mentioned have already talked about this. And so, the Islamic uh, history, we find that uh, uh, there has been not any such type of concept in the times of Abu Hanifa, Imam Shafi, Imam Muhammad bin Hanbal, or Imam Malik, as we have nowadays the concept of uh, insurance companies or insurance as such. There was some concept of, uh, uh, I should say, taqafili ta'awini, that you may just help each other in the matters when there is risk, when there are people are facing problems. And Islam has placed a very good system uh, of 
you know, I should say support to the people, especially the people who are very poor or who are just not able to meet their needs, whether those may be, you know, I should say orphans or those may be the needy, those may be the sick. <clears throat> so there was a system of ta'awun on the basis of the Quranic verse, ta'awunu alal biri wa taqwa wa la ta'awunu alal ikhni wal udwa. So this is there. But so far as uh, commercial you know, insurance is concerned, it has been not accepted by most of the scholars of Islam. As I have already told you, in the Islamic history, the area of insurance was mainly reflected in the various schemes of mutual help, which we call Tawini, Taqafu uh, Tawini and assistance whenever a calamity or a misfortune struck a person or a community. In some cases, <clears throat> it was an arrangement of compensating for the evil deeds of a member of a group. So there were some people, some murder had taken place, then they had to give ransom so that the family of the person who has been killed, they may not suffer. So there is some support for them. So that was also there. And uh, there was insurance uh, uh, that was not for business or for profit making, but a means to help the needy on a voluntary, uh, gracious basis. A killa, akila was a well known, akila is also one of the practices which was very common those days. That is known as, uh, uh, we can call it a pre Islamic notion, which Islam also approved. Uh, where all the members of a family or a tribe mutually pooled their resources to ransom a member of the family or the tribe who had committed a murder. So now this was a type of you know, support, uh, we can call it insurance in the sense that the person who was killed, his family should get support from the people who were the killers. And the whole tribe or the whole family who had killed the person, they had to support this family. This was a type of you know, insurance, which is called as Akila. And uh, in this way, they helped to pay the diya, that is blood money, to the next of kin of the person killed in order to save the culprit from retaliation. So this is a, a very important uh, practice, which was there and the losses and also those who suffered through mutual hazards, they had also some support from uh, Muslim community. So this was also a shape of uh, insurance those days. For example, Abdul Rahman says, even before the Muslim ministry of Muhammad Sallallahu the Makkah, Makkah merchants had formed a fund to help the victims or survivors of natural hazards or disasters during their trading journey to Syria. Iraq and other countries. So this type of you know, insurance was there. Even the Meccans before Islam, they had made some treaty like that. Uh, the managing board composed of the members of the contributory fund decided to pay the price of the uh, mere handais, merchandise, including the value of camels and houses destroyed to the survivors. So this is also one of the insurance which was existing before Islam. And that was also continued some extent, but not fully. Because I am just trying to give you the background of the concept. So there was one interesting term, Zamanul Khairu Tariq, that is surety for hazards or highway. So you are going on a highway. So there may be some problem, there may be some accident. And there was one type of, you know, insurance, which was known as Damanul Khatrul Tariq, to, which was cited by uh, Mustafa al zarqa in support of uh, insurance. <clears throat> if uh, one person asks another to, the, to take a, a particular route and says it is safe, and then he stands surely for as a loss, then he would be so liable if some loss is incurred by the second person. So for example, someone tells you that this road is safe and you take that route and but you incur some loss. So the person who tells you that this road is safe, 
you will be in responsible for this. Then you have to bear the loss which the person has met. So it is not something, you know, it is the guarantee. How we can guarantee the safety of property because in, uh, according to the Maqaz Sharia, nafs, mal, and ilm, and aql. So these things are to be preserved. So these types of, uh, you know, I should say, uh, insurances were valid and uh, those days before Islam. And uh, we have then Aqdil Bawala, that is conduct of mutual amity. Help, that is a confederate where all mutual help was guaranteed through an agreement between person and between persons and the acceptance of a person by a tribe or family as one is also one of the way of that type of, you know, as during the community for every calamity that might come to him. So the tribe was also giving a type of assurance to the person so that if he faces any calamity, he'll be supported. It is uh, uh, recorded by Ibn Abidin that during the last uh, century, there was a marine insurance known as uh, Saukara uh, that was practiced in the Ottoman Empire. Uh, it is uh, customary for merchants that where they hire ships from some uh, harbi that is a non-Muslim of a non-Muslim country, then in addition to freight charge as additional specified amount is paid uh, to enable the harbi to arrange with another uh, harbi uh, the safe uh, transportation of the cargo. So this was also, so why I'm giving this detail? So that the students become aware of various uh, forms of kinds of insurance which were prevalent before Islam and how Islam has modified everything because Islam has its own values, its own teachings, its own norms, its own legal procedures and injections. And uh, uh, this fact is uh, uh, borne out by the statistics uh, provided by Arab uh, insurance reports we now have many Arab uh, countries which have gone for insurance and they are dealing with this. Now let us uh, go to the topic now directly. Insurance is still debated between scholars, as I have told you, uh, when we would in the light of Islamic law. Uh, contemporary Muslim jurists are fully aware that the legal states of insurance is not uh, determined by Islamic law and thinkers in advance the jurists have also not talked much about this. The application of taqaful today is the result of a struggle between the understanding of Islam, Islamic law with the uh, reality of what happened. Thus the problem needs to be reviewed in the light of Islamic law in depth. So this is now the problem after uh, taking the view of other such type of forms of insurance. What is Islamic question about insurance? I will, I will be discussing that. The widely differing attitudes of Muslim scholars on the validity of insurance can be grouped under three broad categories. There are three broad categories about insurance, and which has been mentioned especially by Muhammad Najatullah Siddiqui and others. First is those scholars, especially including Shia, that see nothing wrong in the basic principles underlying modern insurance not with setting ignorance, jahal, and uncertainty, kamar, karar, uh, provided it is free from riba. If there is no riba, then there is no problem, according to some scholars, in entering into insurance. Even the Shia scholars have accepted this, and there are other scholars also. If there is no garar, and sometimes it may be garar if haish, very evident uh, decept, or there may be riba, that's interest. So they have not talked about that. They say it is uh, permissible. They have said it. And uh, then they're not withstanding the jahal and garal because in case of jahal and garal, other scholars say said that it is not allowed when there is garal and there is jahal. Because I, I will explain everything inshallah. And I would like that students ask questions also later on. 
and maybe there may be some more lectures on this. It's a very important subject, and I have prepared well. I can go, you know, I can tell you everything about inshallah, riba, and I can tell you about everything about uh, insurance. But let us first understand what it is. And for example, that is the view of Mustafa Ahmed Zarqa, Yusuf Musa, Ali Al Khatib, Muhammad Al Bahai, Ahmed Tahat Al Sunan, Sayyid Muhammad Sadiq Al Rohani, and so many others. They have just talked about this that. There is nothing wrong. We can go for, you know, uh, this uh, uh, insurance, and there is nothing wrong with that, uh, because uh, it should not involve anything else, and we can go for this. Ayatollah Khomeini regarded insurance as any other contract, which is valid if the necessary elements that are required uh, are in contract uh, subject matter description of uh, parties, uh, risk covered, amount of premium and mode of payment and period of uh, risk covered or uh, there, then there is no problem in any type of, uh, you know, I should say, hey, if there is the people are just going for uh, any such type of insurance. And in this way that, you know, uh, they have, they said that there's no problem if uh, people are going for insurance and uh, these factors are already discussed, then nothing is wrong in uh, going into for the insurance. Now the second question, those who find an element of gambling in all kinds of insurance coupled with the riba. So this is second group of the people Second group of the people, they, they say that if there is uh, any problem of uh, riba or there is any gambling and regard it as an unnecessary innovation. And they say it is not allowed in that case. So th these are the views of Abdullah al uh, Mustafa Zaid, Mufti Muhammad Shafi, and Jalal Mustafa and others. And there is third group, they approve general insurance but disapprove life insurance as it involves uh, gambling and gutter. Many scholars are there. They have just, uh, the, the, these, these are the, uh, the, their views are against uh, all type of uh, insurances. No, we have three type of uh, uh, people uh, who have just talked about uh, insurance. Uh, Muslim Deen, uh, he has uh, written a book on the subject, uh, insurance and Islamic law. The exploitative element is a commercial insurance makes it uh, unacceptable to some of the scholars. And then Musladeen, uh, he thinks uh, about his, uh, it is, uh, it is uh, to be uh, noted that all of our scholars are arguing in the context of the existing pattern of uh, insurance business without examining the a possibility of another alternative. At least in the case of Islamic uh, countries, the scholars could have uh, presented to the government, a, uh, I should say, workable model of Islamic insurance, but it has been not provided so far. And this is unfortunate. In view of the fact that the objectives, objections of uh, of uh, uh, Muslims against insurance in its present form are very well known. It is uh, a proposal to examine the issue very briefly. So now I am just trying to show the Futawa community in uh, Malaysia declared in 1972 that the uh, ideal insurance as uh, practiced in the country was Allah as it had the element of riba Agharar and Maisar. So all these three things are there. Uh, there is riba, there is garar, and there is Maisar. Type of gambling and type of, you know, such type of other, you know, uh, interest uh, elements are there. Similarly, the first international conference uh, that was held in 1976 on Islamic economics held at Makkah, Saudi Arabia, resolved that commercial insurance as presently practices does not satisfy the Islamic conditions for it to become acceptable. Thus, what is unacceptable to Muslims 
is the insurance as presently practiced and not the idea of insurance as such. Uh, a scanning of the existing literature brings uh, our certain major objections against insurance. According to the seminar held on uh, Shaban uh, 1391, a World Muslim League, and according to its uh, 55 resolution, all the kinds of insurance have been declared as unlawful, whether life insurance or commercial or something else. According to Sheikh Mustafa Zirqa, he has especially laid much emphasis on these aspects. So far as the commercial insurance is concerned, there is every possibility of garage fahish, very uh, you know, evident uh, deception and deceit, because the purpose who uh, the purpose of a person who is entering into insurance is uh, that he does not know how why he is just spending his money and where that money goes and where that is being used. So there's ignorance. One of the conditions of this being unlawful is that ignorance and how much amount he has to give and how much he will get uh, in return. Uh, uh, he may have only paid one or two installments and then he meets an accident and he is entitled to get hold of the insurance amount. So this is a type of deception. And secondly, he does not know when the accident takes place and when he has to get the money back. And there is a error and there is also ignorance in this involvement. And sometimes there is no accident and he has paid all the installments and gets nothing. Thus, the person who, is, who uh, gets insurance is not able to assess the amount and its value. And the profit system has also prohibited from deceitful commercial transactions, which is, has been known as barrier gharar. And in this way, this type of, uh, there is this element of uh, uh, the, the, the gharar in this type of insurance. And in this way, we can say that uh, in commercial matters, one is, uh, one, one is put to risk sometimes, and as it entails to run a risk of losing monetary matters and to get benefits without equal compensation, as the insured person has to give the full amount of his scheme, and in case no accident or emergency takes place, he does not get the amount back, as I already said. While as the insurance agency or the person with whom he gets insurance, he gets full benefits as installments without any liability on its part. In such matters, when even ignorance is also involved, then it becomes a type of gambling and is uh, thus prohibited from the verses of the Quran as the Quran says, believers, intoxicants, games of chance, adulterous uh, sacrifices at altars and divine arrows are all uh, abnormations the handiwork of Satan. So turn wholly away from it that you may attain to true success. So in this way, there is possibility of revile puzzle and also uh, revile nasa, as the insurance company pays to the insured person more than the amount he has paid, which is included in the revile puzzle and pays this amount after a fixed time, which is included in Riba al Nasa, And both these interests are prohibited from the Sharia point of view and Ijma as well. The commercial insurance is to change the condition which is unlawful because whether ignorance, gutter, and gambling is involved, uh, then such type of practices are prohibited in Islam. Islam has allowed to keep conditions in case there is support for Islamic cause and if it should be made very much evident through argument and competition that the proper system has allowed the competition three matters only. And in the race of the camels or horse or arrows through throwing, but insurance is not included in either of these and has no resemblance with this matter as well. Uh, because the person or the insurance agency uh, has no liability and there is no such type of law Compression also involved, and on the part of the uh, person who is insured, he has no responsibility and he has no role to play 
uh, in earning or doing any business or commerce. And in the commercial matters, to acquire property of someone else without any liability, this is unlawful from uh, this Quranic verse. Uh, Surah Al-Nisa, believers do not devour one another's positions wrongfully, rather than that let there be trading uh, for mutual consent. You shall not kill yourself, surely Allah is ever compassionate to you. The expression wrongfully embraces all transactions which are opposed to righteousness and which are either legally or morally uh, uh, objectionable. By contrast, trade signifies the mutual transfer of benefits between the parties concerned, such as that underlying those transactions in which one person provides whatever satisfies the needs of another person and is paid in return. Uh, mutual consent means that the exchange should be free of undue pressure, fraud, and deception. But in case of a commercial you know, insurance, these all things are involved. So for the reason, this has been considered as unlawful. In commercial insurance, such as uh, uh, such a thing is made incumbent, incumbent, which otherwise is not such from Sharia point of view, because the occurrence of any incident or causality, casualty is not taking place because of the person who enters into insurance contract, nor is it uh, the reason for such an occurrence. This is just possible uh, guarantee in case a loss is incurred on the basis or in lieu of the amount which the insured person pays. Whereas we know that the person who gets insured does not uh, do anything or any job on behalf of the insurance agency or the person, thus it is unlawful. We cannot get a, any support in the, uh, for the permissibility of insurance from Sharia point of view, says uh, Mustafa Zarka. And he says, apart from giving many arguments, uh, we can say that even uh, we take insurance uh, on the analogy of uh, uh, retirement. So if we take the argument that as the retired person gets uh, a lot of so, uh, amount uh, in return at the time of his retirement. So is the same is the case with the uh, insurance. So uh, Mustafa Zarka says, no, it is not like that. As we know that uh, where by a person who is given, uh, who is given a retirement amount or the gratuity, that is fixed by the authority as it is not any commercial agreement between the employees and the government. While as in the insurance, it is a commercial agreement. And from a, an insured person, the insurance companies earn from unlawful means. Uh, and to Sharia uh, modes, while as the gratuity a retired person gets is given to the employees as a right and the compensation for those duties he has performed for the nation or the community. So, but in case of uh, an insured person, he has not provided any service to the nation. So how he is entitled to this, if we just uh, take the analogy from retirement. And then there are such other, you know, uh, other top topics have been also discussed by uh, Mustafa Zarka. And they, then finally they say that, does the meeting of the scholars of the Saudi Arabia, they have just talked about this and then they said, the only the insurance based on cooperation is halal. And the commercial insurance was declared to be unlawful. And that is known as uh, the taqafuli ta'awini, is a kind of aqd, uh, which entails responsibility during the calamities or accidents to cooperate through which people collect money and help uh, the person who has suffered. And their purpose is not business, not to get benefits from the property of others, but uh, to support each other during suffer, sufferings and calamities, and to remove the losses incurred uh, due to their misfortune. Tawni taqaful is different from riba al fawl and riba al nasa. Increase in depth, the people who uh, participate in it have uh, no interest shares in it, nor is money collected for them so that they may just uh, 
used for transaction for the business transactions. So in this way, it makes it different from uh, such type of uh, uh, all activities which are involved in insurance. In the Takafli Tauni, the profits incurred, uh, though not known to the sh uh, shareholders, is not horrible as these people have given these amounts as charity, where there is no comp comprehension or apprehension of uh, uh, danger uh, or the, we can say, garar and gumba. Uh, uh, but whereas uh, commercial insurance is a commercial compensation. So this is the decision of the Fika Academy of Jida. Uh, they have talked about this and, uh, and they have also not approved of uh, uh, such type of uh, insurance uh, in this case. So, and now we can understand that uh, uh, it is very difficult to establish uh, the support for commercial uh, commercial uh, insurance, while as the, there are other forms of insurance which have been allowed. And uh, in this way, uh, this subject has been deliberated by the scholars, but they have not reached any, uh, I should say, conclusion, uh, which can just uh, satisfy all. And so far as medical insurance is concerned about this also, there are many scholars who don't accept even medical insurance because they say there's there is uh, uh, also uh, this error is there, and then there is some element of maestra is there, and type of riba is also involved. Islam has laid down foundations of uh, brotherhood higher as implicit or implicit in the Quran hadith, rather than to do business with the brothers when they are in difficulty and take advantage of uh, their uh, weaknesses and their shortcomings and their vulnerabilities. Al Quran. Uh, has talked about a town of the Taqwa, Wala town of the Ismail Udwan. And this also shows that this town is to be done in all cases, especially the matters of, uh, uh, you know, especially the piety and the justice. We have to do town and not in the matters where uh, the, there are, you know, just uh, involved only the commercial interests. And there are hadith of the Prophet. Mm, so as person the parable of the believer in comparison and compassion love is like a piece of the body. If one of its members complains of peace, the whole body uh, uh, gets uh, a feel of the pain. Uh, Muslim. Uh, Takaful is uh, raising funds from the participants in order to anticipate further uh, future catastrophe. Insurance fund collection practices implemented before the catastrophe. So in this way, there is difference between Takaful and insurance. In insurance, we first pay money, then we get some compensation. But in Takaful, we first collect money, then we just uh, you know implement that before the catastrophe takes place. The essence of the couple is a risk sharing or risk sharing together the, uh, by the participants. With the sense of risk borne jointly by the principal at uh, a tawni helping each other in contrast to the conventional insurance. So this we can understand. So insurance models use uh, a tabadili system that is transfer of risks where the risk was transferred to the insurance company client with the client compensation must pay a certain amount, a premium to them uh, that is uh, then insurer. In such systems, it is possible garar, usury and gambling, which is forbidden by Islamic Sharia. So in this way, the burden of risk among people so uh, that between one another, guarantor or on other risk, takaful uh, is an insurance which is based on Islamic principles there are several terms by scholars akin to the practice of insurance. These terms are, for example, now there are some other terms which can be used for, you know, insurance like Islamic, you know, alternatives, uh, like we have Tanahud, and then we have Agdul Hirasa, then we have uh, Bimlu Khairu Tariq, as I have already talked about that. And uh, then there are other such type of terms, but you know, so far as uh, the commercial uh, insurance is concerned. There, most of the scholars have 
not accepted that and they have said only we can have their uh, insurance or taqawful ta'awni and for that reason all the kinds of insurance including the form and manner of operation is haram according to scholars that we were supported by civil scholars among others Yusuf Kardawi, Sayyid Sabi, Abdullah as I already mentioned Abdullah Al-Qalqli and then insurance uh, contain elements of uncertainty insurance contains elements of riba which is proud islam insurance contains elements that are uh, pressing exploitation insurance includes a say, sale or exchange of currency um, or not in cash insurance business objects uh, objects hung on the life and death of a person which means they uh, pre he preceded the providence of allah the insurance company invests the money that has uh, been paid by the insured in the form of interest uh, guarantee. In life insurance, if the insured dies, he will be paid more than the amount of money he had paid, which is riba, profit or interest. And group of scholars who argue that insurance is lawful or permissive in Islam, as we have already mentioned, they have also their own reasons. They say a believer to underbeliever is like a building which strengthens the uh, other part. Prohibition of Maesar, Gara, and Riba, we know well. So in this way, when we take all these views together, we can come to this conclusion that so far as the uh, commercial insurance is concerned, this has been not accepted by uh, most of the Islamic scholars. But so far as uh, uh, the Taqafu uh, Tawuni is concerned, so that has been accepted as much mutual insurance uh, which people collect for a person who is suffering and to meet the risk factors and other things. So these are some of the aspects which we need to understand. Uh, and I would now like to have uh, some questions and if you have some, you want some explanations. So I will try to give because I think that you know, this subject needs some more discussion and I am ready for that and maybe some more lectures can be arranged on this and there are some other aspects of uh, this uh, uh, insurance uh, topic and uh, I would like to discuss those one by one. Attaining what I have said so we can just uh, uh, start the discussion uh, on the subject. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you very much, uh, Professor Hamidullah, for this interesting discussion today. So today we have learned about the history of the insurance and also the opinion of the scholars according to this the insurance, and the takaful and the scam and the concept and uh, how to run the takaful ta'awri. Okay, so my brother and sister, so we will open the Q&A session today. Is there any question that you will ask to our Professor Hamidullah? Mm. So please, if you want to ask, so you can just unmute your mic. Okay. Go ahead, Linda, Karel, Fatwa. Is there any question? Yes. Okay, maybe I just want to ask you about the uh, insurance today, Professor. We were uh, waiting for the, the student to ask. So nowadays, we see that there are many of the Sharia insurance rise up, but when they are rise up, even they, uh, the, there are many the Sharia insurance rise up nowadays, but this insurance is still have some uh, gambling, fines, and also Gharar and Riba. So the, the question is, is it possible if we run the Sharia insurance nowadays in, the, in, in our country or in this era? Is it possible? Yeah. Because, yeah. Basically, everything is possible if we have resolved. If we think that Islam has prohibited Gharar, and Riba, and Maisara, and there are clear Quranic uh, and the Ahadith injections against these all elements. So how we can go against the Sharia in order to earn money or to get you know, support, economic support or commercial support? Iman makes you to even 
undergo various type of trials and tribulations and even spend your own money so that you know uh, you are able to uh, save God your iman. People have left their homes and hearts in order to save their iman. So in a society, in a country where you are facing any problem or you are facing any risk and but if you want to get compensation for that, then you have entered into Allah full activity like Karar, like Riba and like Maisara. So how we can allow that? So no, and this is possible if Muslims think that they can have taqaful, they can help each other, but there should be no commercial concentration. As it has been said, Anna wa qafil yati mi qahate. Prophet said, I am the person who is feeding a orphan will be in the paradise like this. As there are two, you know, as there are two uh, uh, these figures, he has said that it is possible that the person who is taking care of an uh, orphan, and I will be like this. So you have to provide for those poor people without having any uh, desire to make business out of it. So it is possible if Muslims make resolve, and there are some countries where people are doing it, and there are some groups they are doing it, although. But they are not doing it for commerce. They are doing it for pleasing, pleasing Allah. Ibtida Mirzatullah. They are doing it for pleasing Allah. And they have sell even themselves for the uh, for getting the pleasure of Allah. And they say, Allah They have sold them, their wealth and their selves for the sake of pleasure of Allah. So what is what what to say of money? So Muslims, if they think. When Christians can do this, when Sikhs in India can do this, they have their mutual fund and they support people. And you'll be happy to know in India, there are Gurdwaras. They are, they are collecting fund and give all poor people money so that they may run their business. And without any interest, without any, you know, uh, anything in compensation, why not Muslims? So this is possible, but if we make resolve. Okay. okay. Thank you very much, Professor. So, is there any question for our uh, brother and sister here? Murini, Maisha, Nana? Is there any question? Well, I will check the chat first. Is there any chat question? Hello, guys. Are you still there, Dimas? Uh, <laughs> okay, maybe they are shy to ask you about the topic today. But this is an interesting topic. So still waiting for the student to ask maybe. I just want to ask and discuss with you, Professor. Okay. Maybe uh, what is the actually the difference between the Sharia insurance and the conventional insurance. What the the real difference between both of the insurance? Yeah, basically it's very clear. Uh, you know, in modern times, the people who are running these insurance companies, their only motto is to get you know benefits out of that, profit out of that, commercial benefits. And their motto is not to support people; they are doing business. And. Uh, right. You know, especially these business, these business houses are run by big corporates. Yes, businessmen, and there are some, you know, corporates also involved in that, and they are running these uh, insurance companies. And this is a type of business. They have nothing to do with the human sympathy or the cooperation. But so far as Islamic uh, the taqaful will be concerned, that is to take care of the people who are vulnerable who are having problems, who need support. And no one has to sleep without food. Muslims have to ensure that. Because Prophet has said, no one among us, you is a Muslim, if his neighbor is sleeping without food and he eats you know, fully. So it means that Muslims have Islamic insurance companies or Islamic taqaful companies have to take care of the needs of the people and they have to help them without considering for the commercial reasons. Their, their consideration is not commercial. Their cons consideration is humanistic. Their consideration is Islamic. Their consideration is ta'awun. Their consideration is sympathy. And they just want, want to help their brethren who are in distress. 
and in this way there is a lot of differences between the conventional you know uh, insurance and islamic uh, concept of insurance if there is a, we can call it insurance or takaful so for that reason we need to have such type of companies such type of you know agencies in islam world which can just collect money from the people on the base of charity not for the for the uh, shareholders in business but in case of a conventional, a conventional you know insurance company people are having shares in that and that's a business share for example nowadays what now they have started you know, retirement after retirement they are just uh, giving you know new pension scheme in india for example is that you have to spend some money uh, every month uh, and you have to give that to some insurance company and after retirement you will get that in return whatever they have just earned you know whatever they have done so it is between is that they want to make business out of your vulnerability you are in difficulty you are in distress right. you are in misery and they take advantage of your misery right. and then this is gara this is deceit this is gambling and there is no surety that when you are just giving this uh, money and how much you return how much you get in return secondly how much you pay and then get the return but so far islamic you know insurance if there is takaful so that is given without these considerations and there is no garar in that there is no riba in that and uh, allah has said haram al yani allah has uh, has made a business lawful and uh, this uh, i should say this riba has been made unlawful wherever element of riba is involved so you can't do that so in islamic right. insurance there is no possibility of garar maisara especially of riba so this is the main difference Right. But in fact, uh, in the in Sharia and Sharia in Sudan, they are still looking for the profit, right? The problem is all of the Sharia there. company. Yeah. All of the Sharia yes. company, they are looking right. for the profit and like uh, e-commerce. Yeah. Now there is yeah. one possibility that you know, in case they may just go for business, and if there is loss or there is profit, then they can share that. There's nothing wrong with that. Mazarba. that is mazarba and other such type of you know valid type of halal type of business is allowed no problem that so but there is also possibility of risk you may just uh, you know lose your money but in this uh, case of insurance companies you only spend money to get more and more you are not ready to run the risk of losing your amount so if muslim insurance companies are also working like the non muslim companies so the purpose is defeated the deep purpose was basically town so town is not there there is business and there is not town al bir wataqa and rather there is town al ism wal udwan because one of the profit is that people are getting profit through uh, riba so this is ism and such a ism that it has been said faizanul harb min allah wa rasul that if you are not leaving the riba so then there is the warning of war against you from allah and the prophet sas in to who you should leave it so such type of a heinous crime is riba if anywhere you are involved in this riba so it means that you are going against the sharia so you may call it islamic company you may call it non islamic company it makes no difference unless your transactions are not based on only the consideration of you know uh, that should profit there should be consideration of town not only profit not only business and then you may have many people may just uh, they may just uh, collect money and then they can have shares in business but they may sometimes lose sometimes win but if there is only consideration to make profit so this is type of gambling it is not type of you know town right. so this is the this is the problem with us also but i think that there are some people who may be having very good intentions and if they don't have those good intentions we need such companies such you know agencies such groups who will work for those you know uh, islamic noble cause of taun rather than commerce now the commercial transactions so we have to we have to clean these all type of you know motives okay thank you very much professor thank so you. going again to our student right here is there any question to our professor Hamidullah today this is the interesting topic to discuss today guys okay so please is there any question to to him come on don't be shy 
I didn't I, I, I didn't. make students to talk. Right. I make students to talk and ask questions, but when I am there. <laughs> but if I am from a distance, <laughs> sometimes, because students always ask many questions, especially from Indonesia. Lot of questions they ask. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so, okay. Uh, so all of the students, if you don't have any question to our uh, Professor Ramajola today, so I think it is good. Uh, an interesting topic to discuss with the professor. And so thank you very much for your time to give us some uh, knowledge. This is so good knowledge and new for us. And when we are uh, learn about the Islamic insurance and the difference between Islamic and the conventional uh, insurance. And also the opinion of the scholars from the Abdul Wahab and the other scholars. So it is give us some uh, new knowledge and a good Uh, knowledge for us and thank you very much for your time so hopefully we will meet you again in the next uh, time inshallah, inshallah. Next day. and hopefully you can come to indonesia as well. inshallah i'm ready to come anytime you invite me i will come okay, <laughs> next inshallah. day i'll be there <laughs> i love okay, thank you there again and again yeah. okay thank you very much professor thank so, you much um, it was nice to talk so, to you and discuss with you and especially with your students and your good self mashallah zaini So, mashallah, yeah. we remain in touch. Yamanillah, please remember me in your prayers. Huh? Take care of your health. Inshallah. Take care of your health. Inshallah. Jazakallah. Thank you very much, Professor. Yamanillah. So, Thank you. Wa'alaikum. <laughs> so, for, for our student, let's close our uh, public lecture today. There is setting, Alhamdulillah, and Dua Tawafara Tawafara Tawafara. Alhamdulillahirrabbilalamin